Little Myron is getting his first visit with Santa Claus. Myron was supposed to arrive just in time for Christmas. Instead, he was delivered in September, 14 weeks early. He spent the past three months in the neonatal intensive care unit at U of L Center for Women and Infants. He got premature lungs, so they've been trying to fight with him and getting them lungs better. But he's doing real good now. He's up to what uh, half a liter on oxygen, and he got a whole lot of medications. <laughs> but he's a good little fighter. His nurses is great. They love him to death. He's spoiled by all of them. The nurses aren't the only ones spoiling these premature babies, some of whom struggle to make it past birth. Carrie Schmidt and a group of volunteers called the Happy Stitchers have crocheted Christmas outfits for the preemies who are too small for normal baby clothes. We have gingerbread. We have made um, reindeer hats and diaper covers. We have stockings that, believe it or not, the babies that are in the NICU can fit down in the stocking. It's just joy. That's the season. We are here at Christmas, and it's just the joy of giving, and that's what we do. First baby, a little tiny guy. Tiny Jacob is getting his Christmas hat. He was born 14 weeks early. And he's had some lung issues, so being 26 weeks, like lung development is obviously the, the concern. So we're slowly recovering from that. He was on a ventilator as of, I guess, last Friday, week. Yeah. So we're just overcoming that. We're hoping he keeps growing and continuing to breathe on his own and we'll be ready to go home soon. Yeah. The Yateses are trying to teach their little boy, Ruxin, how to take a bottle. Ruxin's weight is now up over four pounds and his parents can't say enough good things about the care he's received at U of L. It's been absolutely wonderful. I couldn't ask for a better hospital. Anytime we call, day or night, everybody's always willing to talk to us and he's got wonderful nurses and doctors, so uh, we love it here. It's just overwhelming what they do here for children.